Hi, it's Mids from My Life Mids. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm here to do a haul video. I purchased a book from Amazon and uh, this is from the book depository and I made a order, an order from Simon Says Stamps. I, I don't know, I'm not sure when they changed the packaging or if it's always been like this, but it's just in a bubble envelope. I thought it would be in a box because there's just so much, but I hope, I hope nothing is damaged. I'm going to start off with this book. I've been eyeing this book for quite some time and then it uh, came on, it was on sale. So I had to take the plunge and order it. Wow, this is really nice. Okay, so I didn't know it was this big. Here it is. This is the Toro Webster's Visual Dictionary of Curiosities. So it comes with a notebook and uh, I'm pretty impressed with how fast it came. It came from the UK, I believe. And uh, the shipping uh, was only about, th it was under three dollars. Um, I'm just looking at my invoice, but look at this big book. I didn't know it was this big, like this thick. Um, it says it's 35 US, but I did not pay for that uh, much. There's a little bit of, um, I don't know if it's damage or just cracking. It doesn't really bother me because I know I'm going to be looking at this book often. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through. It's just images of different items. <laughs> it's just a dictionary of different and neat images. I think this is so cool. I'm going to be looking through this, flipping through it. Um, you know, whenever I just feel like looking for some inspiration, but I just thought it was so neat. But yeah, the images are all black and white. And I think sometimes I'll look at some of these pictures and maybe I'll try and sketch something or draw something similar. Yeah, really, really neat. So there's this book here. And this one here is from Simon Says Stamp. It's a huge bag. I, I don't know. I'm not sure if... I usually like to order from Simon Says Stamp or scrapbook.com because they order... Uh, they offer international shipping. And Simon Says Stamp, I think, had... A sale, a ranger sale, so I was looking through all the Distress Danes and inks and um, I <laughs> ended up picking up some sprays and things, but anyways, I'm just going to pick from the bag and just show you what comes out of the bag. Alright, the first thing here is the Distress Collage Medium. It includes the matte medium, vintage and crazing. I saw this demonstration done by Tim Holtz on YouTube so I thought I would give it a try. I thought it would be neat for the junk journal. I want to create a junk journal that's more of a vintage travel theme so I thought that would be neat for that. Next one coming out here is a clear stamp from Prima Marketing and it's just with like uh, quotes. The item number is 961893. So there's that. Just a postcard. <laughs> I ordered some vintage paper. I think there's five sheets in here. Uh, once again, it's because I wanted to uh, create a more of a vintage junk journal. So I thought I could use some vintage paper. I had no idea that Simon Says Stamp has had those kinds of things for sale. <laughs> this one, Distressed Crayons. I'm really, really excited. I saw several videos on YouTube and I thought I would give this a shot. I thought I ordered two. Yeah, so here's the other one. This is in the... Uh, I don't know if they have a name. A name of like the set name? I'm not sure. I'm guessing this is like the vintage set and this is more of the colorful one. Uh, but these are water reactive pigments. So hopefully I will 
do like a demonstration or like a journal with me type of video using these crayons and you can see how how they turn out. <laughs> Alright, and then the rest, I guess, they wrap it up in just a plastic sheet, just so that it doesn't leak through. First thing here is the Delusions Ink Spray in white linen. Two fluid ounces. Uh, there's one here. I ordered a couple. This one is in fresh lime. This one is Vibrant Turquoise. This one, oh, I think it's leaking a little bit here, is Bubblegum Pink. I'm excited to try these out. I, I saw, I think it was Liz, she was using these sprays to, um, when she was making her junk journal covers. So I wanted to try that out. Oh, this is tiny. This is a multi-medium gloss Artist quality medium for gluing, transfer, sealing, and more. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. I guess it's my mistake. I should have looked at the size. It says 0.5 fluid ounces, which is only 14 ml. But um, I don't have any. I think I was. I bought this because I wanted to use it for my paper beads. I wanted to add some kind of a glaze on the paper beads. I was thinking of using clear nail polish, but um, I decided to go with that. And my first gesso, can you believe it? <laughs> my first gesso, this is the D uh, Dina Weekly, Dina Weekly Media White Gesso. And this is also Ranger Brand, so it was on sale. You can see a lot of these items are from the Ranger Brand because they had a sale going on. This one is a Paint Dabber Copper Metallic. I hope the color that comes out is a little bit more copper, but... There's that one. And lastly, tacky glue. <laughs> uh, this is the Aileen's tacky glue. I've seen so many people use it and uh, for their junk journaling and for sticking things down. Um, I just wanted to give it a shot. The only type of glue that I have is the dollar store uh, like the glue sticks and I have the dollar store like white craft glue. And it works okay, but I'm just interested to try. Uh, I know some people use this for binding their junk journal signatures to the to the cover, so I wanted to give that a shot. So that was my Simon Says stamp haul and my Amazon book order. And for those international viewers, if you have any other suggest suggestions of where I could purchase. I guess scrapbooking crafting supplies online I would be greatly it would be greatly appreciated. I find like really nice deals online and then most of the time they're only shipping to the states or Canada. Uh, so I usually just end up sticking to scrapbook.com or Simon Says Stamp. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.